Kubica will leave Williams, Formula E adds Jakarta to its calendar, and Alex Zanardi will race in the DTM and Super GT joint race. This is On Track Recap, and these are the top stories from Autosport.com from the past week. Robert Kubica has announced that he will not be staying with the Williams team beyond the end of 2019. Nico Hulkenberg, who started his F1 career with Williams in 2010, remains available after Haas opted to retain Roman Grosjean alongside Kevin Magnussen for next season. Kubica, who's scored Williams' only points so far in 2019 in the Wild German Grand Prix, said, I'm looking for different opportunities. The Arden Formula 2 team has signed Artem Markalov to join Alfa Romeo Formula 1 junior Tatiana Calderon in place of Antoine Hubert. Arden elected not to field a second car in the last round at Monza and just ran Calderon. Matifos Izakian will complete the season for the Sauber junior team in place of injured Juan Manuel Correa. In F3, David Schumacher, son of Ralph, will replace the injured Alex Peroni at Campos Racing for the finale at Sochi. Joseph Newgarden has claimed his second IndyCar title. Newgarden finished 8th, with his closest title rival Alexander Rossi in 6th place at the finale at Laguna Seca, and it was enough to give the former a second title following his 2017 success. The Penske driver added his second title was more special than his first, and that he was more emotional than he was after his 2017 crown. Formula E has officially added Jakarta to its 2019 and 20 season calendar, with its late season races set to shuffle back as a result. The first Jakarta E-Prix will take place on June 6, 2020, and will be held on a track that will be constructed near the National Monument in the centre of the city. The track layout is set to be revealed at a later date. It's understood that the revised 2019 and 20 Formula E calendar is set to be confirmed at the FIA World Motorsport Council meeting in early October. Alex Zanardi has been announced as the first of BMW's three drivers for the joint race between the DTM and Super GT. Two-time kart champion Zanardi will again use a specially adapted M4 DTM, including a handbrake system and an accelerator ring on the steering wheel, allowing him to drive without his artificial legs. To compete in the dream race with the DTM and Super GT is something wonderful for me, said Zanardi. That's your on-track recap. You can find links to all these stories down below. And for all the latest news, updates and opinion, just head to autosport.com.